The Governor General says John Kerr has destroyed Mr. Whitlam's arrogant pretension as a guardian of parliamentary, parliamentary democracy and convention. Mr. Whitlam's true colours have shown through. Can he refused to accept his sacking and sent a message to the Governor General that he now had supply and could form a government. The supply was passed only at the Governor General's request as part of the double dissolution. The Australian people now have the chance to elect Mr Fraser and Mr Anthony to lead a government that will restore confidence and stability to this nation. Mr Premier, on your last uh, point there, sir, the Australian people now have a, a chance to elect Mr Fraser and Mr Anthony, but uh, they also have a chance to re-elect Mr Whitlam, surely? Well, I have uh, no doubt uh, an opportunity if Mr Whitlam's prepared to have another go. I doubt very much whether he will after what he's been through and uh, the record that he has to stand. He has to stand on his record. But has been rising support for the Whitlam government over the recent weeks. Well, if he thinks that he's got support, uh, then uh, he will no doubt stand again. But if you have the record that he has of 400,000 out of work of, of uh, inflation at the rate it has, thousands, thousands of wrecked businesses you're that have gone out of existence. Yeah. You're, you're obviously very pleased at the latest developments, Mr Premier. Well, I'd, I'd take it that all Australians would be thankful. Not a matter of being pleased, it's a matter of being thankful that uh, today we have a situation where they have the choice. The people can have their say, and uh, I, I believe and I, that we will, they will remove from office a government that has been so disastrous as far as the uh, nation has been concerned. At this point of time, the situation does seem to still be rather on the edge, quite uh, not quite resolved fully. Do you think it's at all con conceivable that the Governor-General might reverse his decision? The uh, Governor-General, I'm sure, won't reverse his decision. And if there is, as you say, some uncertainty, this to me is not so, because the, the only uncertainty is in the mind of the Prime Minister. He doesn't recognise or realise that he is defeated, that he is a man of the past, and that he is no longer Prime Minister and won't be Prime Minister any longer. And he is hanging on tenaciously to his office when, under the Constitution, he has no justification or right to take the attitude that he has.